Breaking news here in the Middle East. I-24 News can exclusively confirm that a senior Israeli official has met with the foreign minister of Oman in a push to normalize ties between Jerusalem and the Persian Gulf nation and to open the skies. This coming on the back of the historic Abraham Accords, which has already seen the normalization of ties between Israel and the UAE, Bahrain, Sudan and Morocco. Jerusalem is continuing with its efforts to usher in new partners in the region. I-24 News has learned that a senior Israeli official met with Oman's Foreign Minister Saeed Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Saidi in Oman in recent weeks to advance ties and boost regional cooperation between Jerusalem and Muscat. So for more on this breaking news, our correspondent Guy Azrael is here in studio. And Guy, there had been much speculation over which country would be next to advance ties with Israel. Muscat seems to be playing it more cautiously. It wants something slightly different. What is known about the meeting in Oman before the Israeli elections? Yes, certainly. The, even uh, before we get to uh, this meeting, the uh, Omani uh, foreign minister said himself uh, just in July that uh, Oman will not be the next uh, Gulf country to normalize ties with Israel. And uh, there's some complications there that we will uh, get to now. As for this meeting, it is certainly not unprecedented, and yet it is very rare. We do know that back already back in 2018, then uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu visited Muscat, uh, met with the Emir uh, at that time. And nonetheless, uh, the ties with Oman are quite complicated for Israel. Israel wants to advance ties with Oman, but the issue with this particular Gulf country is that it does not see itself as someone, as, as a country that goes in the path of the UAE and Bahrain has a more unique and independent position uh, in those relations, also putting the Palestinian agenda at the top of their priority before they can normalize ties uh, with Israel. But nonetheless, as we see with this meeting, Israel does find ways uh, to advance ties, and there's a few things on the agenda of Israel that can be of mutual interest for both uh, Jerusalem and Muscat. And how does Saudi Arabia play into these developments, Guy, particularly when it comes to opening the skies? Yes, I think that is the, certainly, even if it's not uh, mentioned as such, that is the top agenda uh, for Israel, other than normalizing ties, is uh, being able to find a route uh, from from Jerusalem to the east. It was a major announcement from Saudi Arabia earlier this year that it opens its airspace uh, to Israeli flights. Unfortunately, in order to cross uh, that peninsula, you do need to fly over Oman, and that uh, approval has not been reached yet. And it, it takes a lot of time and conversations to uh, to get that final approval. So this is cer certainly th something that was uh, top agenda uh, for that senior foreign ministry official in that meeting. Unfortunately, uh, no breakthrough uh, has been reached. We know that Bahrain also wants uh, its skies to open over Israel. There is uh, a lot of effort in Israel to also establish all sorts of other connections uh, with uh, Oman. Uh, if it doesn't come through the Abraham Accords, perhaps through uh, economic cooperation, Israel invited uh, Oman to be part of the Negev Forum, also take, to take part in all sorts of initiatives that are related to the Palestinians, something that, as we mentioned, is top agenda for Oman and could be the way for the breakthrough.